Last week, I left you guys feeling a little bit anxious as I retreated into the forest. Maybe running away from my problems, but also maybe running towards where I know I'll find peace. My first few days solo on the road left me feeling anxious and discouraged, but these next few days were the breath of fresh air that I know that I needed. Also, hi, beautiful babies. Hello. This is what I'm talking about. I ended up reparking for a little bit more privacy out the back door and the side door too because you guys this is like campsite jackpot there's freaking bathrooms here what i don't have to poop outside <sighs> not a bad view <sighs> finally you and I have a ton of exploring to do. This is such a beautiful spot and I'm so psyched on the bathrooms. Thank you, Ronlin, for sending me this, if you ever see this. I'm so not used to having service at campsites, but she travels and works remotely, so a lot of the campsites she's been to have service. So this is kind of new for me and it's really fun to be able to FaceTime people to show them where I'm at and it makes my family feel more comfortable. Yeah, so I'm gonna take some time to get settled in, but the very first thing that needs done, clearly, your girl needs a shower. Uh, I'm gonna try and just wash the last few days of driving off of me, leave that chapter behind us. We have another drive tomorrow, but it's gonna be way more fun because we're adding some adventures in the mix, um, and it's way less long of a drive, and the scenery out here is incredible i'm so blown away i've never been to new mexico before i'm not entirely sure what i expected i guess maybe i was expecting it to be a little bit more like texas but wow okay so i haven't actually used our shower setup yet so i'm gonna go and get everything set up and i'll show you guys how everything works and we're gonna get clean because i stink Okay, so here is our shower. I haven't finished the murals yet. I was thinking maybe I could work on that some today. If I get bored, we did end up getting our shower mat mounted. So I've got this little basket with my curtains and all my hooks and shower bag. And then I ended up getting this extra one because this is a little bit sheer. So I'm gonna get all that set up. A new shower bag, ours had a hole in it. These are like $8 at Walmart, a very affordable outdoor shower solution for anyone that doesn't want to have an indoor shower in their rig. I personally just could never justify losing all of that space for something that I use maybe twice a week. And then we've got this little double hook. So we'll put one hook here. The other hook is up on the door here. So I'm just gonna fill up this bag with the rest of my water from under the sink before I use my backup waters because the one under the sink is almost empty and our water pump doesn't really get to the bottom of our containers. All right, got my shower bag set up. All of my toiletries are up here, so I'm just gonna grab a towel and my biodegradable soaps. I'll let you guys know what brand of biodegradable soaps and stuff 
that I picked up after I try them out and make sure that I like them. Um, but it is very important if you are going to be showering outside like this to make sure that you are using biodegradable soaps and that you are, even when using biodegradable soaps, at least, I think it's 100 feet away from any natural water source. So make sure you're familiar with all the rules and everything and that you're using earth-friendly products. I also went ahead and got some biodegradable hand soap and biodegradable dish soap so that all of my gray water is also safe for the planet. I'm sure it's not necessarily great for the earth, but it's at least not harming the earth. Okay, now I gotta change it into my bathing suit and then we're gonna take a shower. Alrighty. Highly recommend also using a spray bottle for showers to help save water. I don't know that it was necessarily planned that my bathing suit matches the shower, but I love it. <laughs> totally here for it. We love a coordinated moment. Where'd you go? Ah! <laughs> okay, so in theory, the sun is meant to warm these up, but... Ooh, that's not warm. Okay shampoo bar and I bought a leave-in conditioner since I couldn't find any that was biodegradable oh there's that sun yes this actually suds up pretty well I'm surprised I'm so happy you guys so happy oh a stink bug I must have brought him all the way here from Ohio that's Kind of crazy. You just went on a really big adventure, man. This was a nicer experience than I was expecting. I'd heard mixed things about the uh, shampoo bars, but they come in paper packaging, which I love. Better for the environment. All right, this is just getting in the way. <laughs> okay, and then I've just got the same brand soap. I found this at Whole Foods, and I do think that I like it. So there's the brand if you guys are interested. This is honestly one of the more peaceful showers I've taken during my van life experience. Uh, other shower options include truck stops, but they're like $10, sometimes $12 a pop, which just isn't worth it in my opinion. Or a Planet Fitness membership. I believe it's $20 a month to be able to go to any location. That was our um, shower method of choice on our previous trip. But with COVID, we've been having a lot more issues finding locations with showers open. So I thought I'd try something a little bit more natural this time and I have to say I'm very much enjoying it honestly one of the best showers I've had in a long time uh, are you hunting for flies <laughs> there are quite a few of them in here just from leaving the doors open for like 20 minutes but it makes sense with all the horses around are the flies bothering you guys too? You gonna chomp them all? Jump, 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 jump. Okay, I am feeling like a whole new woman after that shower. My hair dried so fast. It's actually pretty hot here today. A cold front came through, leaving at, at about 80, so I can't imagine staying here not in the winter. Um, <laughs> but I thought we could sit down and catch up before Haley and I go exploring. So today's been kind of crazy. Um, I'm going to try and daily vlog this trip with you guys because I think that's going to be the best way for me to capture my full authentic experience for you guys um, because I really do want to share the full journey, not just the pretty parts. And today, today started off on a not so great note and I am just 
absolutely on cloud nine right now which is just insane that's one thing about van life that i have noticed things can go from like really amazing to really bad really fast and vice versa so it can be just a little bit of an emotional roller coaster and i'm sure that's going to take some getting used to on my own but i'm feeling pretty good about it so far keeping in good spirits and just trying to remind myself i'm not in a timeline i've got nowhere to be and i'm just gonna follow the road wherever it takes me i put on my cowboy boots for the afternoon you can take the girl out of texas but you cannot take the texas out of the girl and the vibe here is just giving me major like home vibes i saw so many people in town today wearing cowboy hats and i just i just feel right at home it was really weird sleeping in Texas last night and not seeing my family. I've never really done that before. But I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the area that we're staying in. We are right near Lincoln, New Mexico. I actually managed to learn quite a bit about this area while I drove through town. So Lincoln Historical Monument is in Lincoln, so that's not too far from here if you're ever in this area but this is also the birthplace of Smokey the bear which i didn't know before i got here which i think is super funny there's even um a Smokey bear historical site up the road a ways i don't think i'm gonna have time to check it out this time but speaking of Smokey the bear i just wanted to remind anyone that may be out camping during fire season that it is very important to follow all posted rules and regulations with fires. I'm absolutely heartbroken to see that fires have moved into Sequoia National Park this year. The wildfires are getting worse every year and it's very very important. The rules are there for a reason so I just thought I would touch on that for a second. Remember guys, only you can prevent wildfires. All right, Haley, you want to go on an adventure? Let's go exploring! Not sure I'm ever gonna be over it. <laughs> I can't believe I only get to stay one night. We found a creek. <laughs> it's so beautiful here, and there's so many campsites. That sun is brutal, but we had a good walkie and we're back at the van. Probably gonna stay out of the sun for the next couple of hours. I'm gonna do a little bit of editing, some work stuff I'm behind on from all the driving days. Um, so I'll catch up with you guys for dinner and a sunset. The stink bug saga continues. Yeah, that's right, sir. See yourself out. See yourself out. which must mean sunset is getting close. So it's time for me to stop working and start playing. I'm trying to decide if I wanna cook dinner after dark. I try not to go outside after dark too much. I don't really like being outside after dark in the wilderness alone. Um, not because of people, I'm actually just really scared of bears. There are bears here black bears. I have my bear spray, so Haley and I will be coming in at dark. So I'll probably edit some more later and have dinner. So I'm thinking I might test out my roof ladder really quick, get that set up so I can climb up there and enjoy a glass of wine for sunset and take Haley on a walk. Hi, BB. You gonna come outside? She's been busy hunting flies in the van all afternoon. 
I think I mentioned to you guys in a previous video, we decided not to put a fixed ladder on the back of the van. I've heard stories of solar panels going missing, just made me nervous. So I went ahead and ordered this on Amazon and we're going to give it a try. Um, so Josh mounted some hooks at the top of the, on the roof deck and they just like hook on there. So I'm going to climb up here and hook them on. I haven't tried this out. Um, this is actually a kid's ninja warrior like training course ladder. So we'll see if it works, but it was only like $23. For those of you that missed our build series, here is a view of our roof and our baby roof deck. And here is my view for the evening. Holy shit. Um, actually, wait guys, these are really big poops. Should I be concerned? <laughs> I didn't fall, successful trial run. There's honestly been a decent amount of clouds that have rolled in, so I'm not even sure we'll get much of a sunset or that I should watch it up there because I'll be facing this way and the sun sets this way. So we may be using that for sunset another evening and cooking dinner with a view instead. Okay, after about 20 more minutes, I've officially decided we're just gonna go ahead and cook dinner because the sunset is just really cloudy. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up the back. I may have made a fatal error leaving the doors open all day. There's a ton of flies in the van, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna go ahead and cook up some ramen and broccoli for dinner and just chill for the night. So, I will see you guys in the morning for a sunrise hike up there. Didn't even need a coffee to get out of bed for this one. I never did find that trail that my friend told me about, but Haley and I just walked down this main road for a little while. And the view has been incredible. The way the sun is 
sun is hitting the mountains. It's so beautiful. And the sun is up. Alrighty, I finished getting ready for the morning. Got the van all tidied up and ready to go. We're gonna hit the road to White Sands National Park for breakfast and a latte. Got my parks pass for the season, and turns out Haley's actually allowed here on the trail or on the dunes or whatever. So he asked where I was from and if I've ever been here before. He told me eight miles down this road to climb a dune at the end. You can see the entire park. So that's what we're gonna go do. I have to make breakfast first because I'm starving, but I'm really excited! Yay! And I got a map. I like love keeping these. I kept them from all the parks we went to last year. So I'm just gonna add these uh, to my collection. Oh my goodness, we're driving on sand. I'm gonna need a car wash for sure. all hung up in the window, found a good spot for breakfast. One thing I will say about visiting sandy places in a van is that you never actually get all of the sand out of the van. I was gonna make a hot coffee today because it was chilly this morning. It warmed up very quickly. So cold brew it is. It's actually a little bit quicker. And we'll have some granola for breakfast. Move this from my hair. There we go. Alrighty, another absolutely stunning home for the evening. Thank you again to my friend Bronwyn. The sun sets pretty early here and I was feeling pretty tired so I decided not to try and drive in the dark. So we posted up a couple of hours from Phoenix and we're gonna get up early in the morning and go. I just finished up doing a little bit of cleaning, getting sand out of a van um, is a project so be working on that some more tonight and I actually connected with another traveler when I got here which was so cool he was so nice and came and took a look at the van and he actually lives in a bus in Tennessee I will put his Instagram handle in the description box if you guys would like to go give his build a look it is absolutely stunning 
I absolutely love running to people at campsites. It's happened twice to me on the road now, and it's just, it's always so good. Anyway, I've got my quarter out because the lights on the van are just like flashing randomly when it's locked. Um, I thought I had noticed it the other day at a rest area, brushed it off maybe as the sun, like reflecting on the lights, but last night it actually woke me up and scared me quite a bit because I saw light coming through my window blinds at night and I thought there was someone with a flashlight. It startled me, I thought someone was shining a flashlight through my window. Um, and it just kind of keeps happening and I don't want it to draw attention to me when I'm sleeping in parking lots and things like that. So I'm gonna try and give it a fix. Back on the forums, it said if I do a battery disconnect with the only tool I'll need to do this is a quarter. So we're gonna give it a shot. Um, and then Haley and I are gonna rest up because we're exhausted. So, oh, and the sunset here is gonna be incredible. So we're gonna get fixing. Come on, we're gonna fix the van. Come help me fix the van. Just having electrical problems this whole trip so far, so. Okay, online it said basically I use this quarter to open this and there's just a quick battery disconnect in here and that should solve the problem. So, here we go. Okay, that was easy enough. I did it, I found the fuse. Got it out. It said to leave it out for about two minutes. Sorry, I'm vlogging. I did it! I'm fixing the car! Look at me go! Not gonna lie guys, I'm pretty excited. I think I fixed it. I kind of just stood and stared at it for a while with the doors locked to see if it would blink. It didn't, it was happening pretty frequently, so I think I may have solved that. I did get a little hopeful that maybe that would also solve the radio issue. That's not the case, but the odometer didn't look like it was flashing, so I'll have to see how that goes when I'm driving tomorrow. <sighs> but I'm really freaking exhausted, and we need to rest up because we are picking up our house guests at the airport very early in the morning. I think I'm going to leave you guys here for the week. We will see you guys next Tuesday for a pretty grand adventure. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet because I'm going to be spending the next couple of months exploring Arizona and Utah in my van before I head home to Texas for the holidays. Yeah, say bye Haley. Say we'll see you next Tuesday. Subscribe please. Give us a thumbs up. Hi girl, hi girl. Are you so excited to be out of the car? Me too. <laughs> Are you living your best life? We were just thinking how hot it was, huh?